Well, we're fortunate this year that we know the host a week before the end of the regular season, but typically we don't know who's hosting the game. In some years, we don't know who's hosting or who the participating teams are until the final games of the regular season. Uh, so that is a challenge that, uh, that adds a whole layer of, of things that the fans at home may not know about. Uh, a lot of planning, a lot of, uh, a lot of work that goes into uh, building it out, but this year we're fortunate that um, we know the host a week in advance. Well, what we're doing today is uh, we're getting the field final prep. Uh, you can see it out here behind me. Uh, our grounds guys are doing a great job getting everything uh, painted up and ready to go. Uh, we're rebranding the stadium, which is a huge uh, deal for a conference championship, you know, kind of a neutral site. So we'll take down a lot of our branding and you'll see our signage guys and the American uh, Athletic Conference signage guys putting up all the branding and, and whatnot for the, the actual game. With what we're preparing are, are pretty minimalistic, honestly, when it comes to the fields. Uh, you'll see uh, a lot of the stuff that, that's out here is our normal paint job. So, you know, we have four or five guys out here uh, painting it and it's, it'll look pretty much exactly like it would for uh, our regular season home games. It's usually about 200 man hours that go into field preparation and painting and cutting and all that for a football game. My name is Sean Dunham. I'm a project manager at Sport Graphics. We're here in Orlando, Florida, branding the 2018 AAC Football Championship game here at Spectrum Stadium. So one thing that's tricky for this championship is that we have to plan for several different venues. So whether the game's in Cincinnati, Temple, Houston, or even Memphis, or obviously in Orlando, we have to prepare everything as if it's going to be in that venue, and then everything's decided pretty much at the last moment. That's when we go to production and then plan the install around that as well. We arrived Tuesday. All of our signage arrived Wednesday morning. And then we started um, install yesterday morning on Wednesday, and then we'll be done tomorrow by noon. All the field walls are done. We're finished up the locker room today. We're probably 60% done already. Yeah, my name's Joey Cruz. I'm with Skycam. Uh, we're getting ready to hang up the hang the spar suspended positional aerial robot. We're gonna put this, attach it to the transport system and then we're gonna put it up in the air and inside of these cables has fiber optic element and that's what carries our communication from here up to our operating location which is up in the press box. This spar weighs about 55 pounds. Keep coming and hold it there. You can preview 100 volts. Copy you. Previewing 100. All right, you can bring your voltage up to 135. Every stadium's different, anywhere from two to three days to set it up. And then to tear it down, it typically takes about three hours. We're about 27 hours away from kickoff and we're getting ready for our pre-game show tomorrow interviewing UCF head coach Josh Heupel and senior Wyatt Miller here in the locker room. Wyatt, as you gear up to play in your final conference championship and last game inside Spectrum Stadium, what's the first emotion that comes to mind? Uh, just joy, appreciation for this university and and appreciation for, for, for friends like this that I get to go out and go to battle, you know, again. Uh, a lot of people don't get to experience this once, much less two years in a row. So uh, I think just excitement, um, anxious. I'm ready to get out there and play. I wish it was Saturday at 3.30 right now, so uh, we're excited. Players will do the show here with time at whenever they're ready to do it, as long as they're set up. When is, it, when is all that happening? When's all that? They're, <coughs> set, they're setting it up right now. They're doing it right now. Okay. 24 hours away from kickoff, and we're about to sit down on the field with Memphis head coach Mike Norvell and the quarterback Brady White. Hi, coach. How nice to see you. To see you. Oh, After starting the year off one and three in conference play, where was your team at mentally? Uh, you know, we were disappointed in some in some in some of the ways that we had played, and you know, we felt like we had let some games get away from us. 
It's been a full day at Spectrum Stadium, less than 24 hours until a champion is crowned. For now, it's time to shut it down, get some rest, and get ready for game day. It's championship Saturday in the American Athletic Conference, and we should have a good one. It's UCF and Memphis for the American Championship today. championship game is won by the Knights over Memphis. The focus of our championship games is that it will always be focused on the fans and the student athletes. Try to create a great experience for the student athletes and the fans that come to the game to cheer on their, their team, that they'll have a great uh, experience and a memorable experience. That's my goal. That's the things that we try to do. They've earned the right to compete for a conference championship and so we, we want to make it as, as special for them as we possibly can. 